Good afternoon everyone. Today, I'm going to talk a little louder today because it's windy and my apologies if you can't hear all of this. Uh, this is our 2004 Braballo R260. It's a 26 foot center console, year 2004. It's powered by twin 225 horsepower Honda outboards. The port engine is freshly rebuilt with less than one hour of use. It has a one-year warranty from Honda. It was a brand new Honda powerhead. The port, I'm sorry, the starboard engine has about 650 hours of use uh, on the engine, or at least that's what the gauge is reading. Twin counter-rotating engine, stainless steel props. Uh, boat shows pretty good for the year. The gel coat shines really nice as well. Boat also comes with a factory T-top uh, with what looks like newer canvas on the T-top. No rips or tears in the T-top. It also has rocket launchers, radar. I'll go, the boat has a ton of options and Riballos are known to just be very reliable and good running engines. Uh, off the back we have an integrated, uh, well running boats, not engines. Off the back we have an integrated swim platform with a fold down ladder. We also have a stern shower, freshwater shower, and a, your water fill is there as well. Hydraulic steering, we have big pop up seats throughout the boat. St uh, you also have non-skid both on the gunnel as well as inside the boat which is really nice for when you're barefoot and you're not slipping around the deck. Huge aerated live well located here that looks like an 80 gallon big live well. Here's uh, access to your twin batteries and switches all your pumps, they're all in working order. Boat also has a area for uh, this folding down seat. So this actually folds up for additional seating area for your friends and family if you're taking a family day out on the boat or folds down for additional fishing area um, when out with your buddies. We have flush mounted rod holders everywhere on this boat. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus the rocket launchers off the T top. Here are the other ones right here. The, all, another nice thing about this boat is you have a walk through transom door, where, or if you're fighting a larger fish, you can also use that to pull it in that way. Uh, areas to grab on all over the boat. It also has wraparound bolsters all the way, 26 feet worth on both sides, all the way from uh, stern to bow. It also has these little rails for your feet to stick under when you're fighting a fish. Um, and the combing pads are also there for that very reason as well. Riballo is a quality boat. They really add all the little bells and whistles. Uh, the older Riballos just as much as the newer Riballos. Another cool thing that this boat has is the leaning post that the swivel based on where you're sitting, either back or this is as far forward as they go, a uh, very comfortable ride, uh, comfortable ride. This opens up for more storage there. These fold back if you're sitting down or forward if you're driving and using the boat. All the upholstery in the boat is in pretty good shape. A strong eight or nine uh, minor little color discrepancies here or there, but everything soft to the touch, no rips, no tears, a little bit of wear areas, but that's about it. Also, it has the bow cushion area, which the gentleman added recently, all in fantastic shape, uh, and storage underneath each of these cushions as well. Tons of storage. It has a table here that's removable. You can have it in if you're having drinks or lunch on the boat one, and you're floating the creek, or you take it out if you're fishing with your buddies. Huge insulated live well located there that's also able to be pumped out. Little 
seat on the front of the console, sewer side seat. These bolsters here fold down for additional storage area if I can get it for rod holders and other things, lines or your pole grabbers. Ugh. Sorry about that. Boat also has a windless anchor, Lumar windless anchor, and an anchor locker forward. That's a really nice feature for this 26 foot boat. Inside the head, I'm sorry, the console, we have a pump out Japsco toilet. Uh, so this is not only a toilet, but it's not a porta pot. It actually you can suck out uh, the, your head. Um, and oh, let me show you one. You can also go to the dock and get it pumped out when you uh, it's full head. You don't have to empty it yourself. Also has a wash sink hooked up to the fresh water system. Plenty of space in this area to stand up and or because it kind of goes into the hull of the boat. It's a step down. So there's plenty of space for the ladies and even some gentlemen to uh, take a bathroom break if needed. Or just store extra gear. There's your AM FM radio head unit. There's also a little light in there. Now to some of the more fun stuff. Uh, you have a, the boat comes with a Garmin GPS map 4210 which is flush mounted here. Uh, which is your radar, your depth finder, and your GPS. This was original or put in the last few years, not original in 04, I think it's like an 08, 09. Uh, we also have, which I forgot to put in the boat for the sea trial video, the Garmin GPS and depth finder as well, a dual unit. It's also, that's relatively new the last two years. Um, so it, that also comes with the boat and uh, does work properly. I just forgot to put it in the boat. Uh, space up in your electronics cabin for more stuff if you want to. Your fuses are there. Uh, currently it doesn't have anything in it because we also have an ICOM VHF radio that's flush mounted. Lenco electric trim tabs. Twin gauges for everything. So um, both trim, voltmeters, one fuel gauge, one speedo. Uh, the hours the gauge is a little, the digital gauge is a little hard to read, but 661. Here are all your controls here. Windless anchor, raw water wash down, insulate your fish box pump, your sub pump, your wash down, your live well, your water pressure. It also has a tilt steering wheel, which is very nice for a center console. Um, that looks like a newer Sea Star helm, to be honest with you. And, um, so I think I have touched on almost everything. Uh, if I didn't mention it before, the windless anchor control is right here and it does have that as well, a Lumar windless. Um, Gary's gonna get her up on plane and show you how she runs. This boat should be pretty quick with the twin 225s. She should get up and roll pretty quick. Uh, you also have some spreader lights, forgot to show you there. There's your Garmin radar unit on the top. What's great about those four strokes, they were running the whole time, very quiet. This boat knew is well into the hundred and fifty to hundred and sixty thousand dollar range depending on horse uh, you know what you get on it so instead of buying new you can buy this used option for a fraction of the price we have it priced very aggressively just in time for rockfish season here
For more information on this boat, you can give Mike Maselli a call at 443-324-1368. Thanks for watching our video on the 2004 Rabalo R260. Give us a call.